Okay, so let's go to the Pasha. You come from Ziva, I guess that you already know what a Pasha is. If not, you will see it just in a moment. Let's duplicate this guy and I will bring up uh, the skin of the of Mr. Ring, but just one-sided skin. This is one-sided geometry, nothing really fancy there. Then I will bypass this guy so we have all the muscles moving, also the bones moving. Everything's great. So I will do I can select both of them and with Alt move it so I have a merge node. And here I will do a node which will be moving uh, right. That. And then a time shift which is just really remember the frame where we are. We just delete this channel and now this is not moving anymore. So I can do another node and call it and static collider. So okay. So now that I have here a skin, I will do a fascia from that. It's really, really, really easy, simple. We will do a vellum cloth. We will do a vellum pressure. Well, let's do just the solder right now and you will see how it works. Let's grab this guy. We can do control C also and do an object merge and bring up those colliders without moving. These guys are moving. Great. Put it in a collision and just get the rest of the scale to something like 5 and we'll see what happens. We can just do like 10 frames of that to create our fascia. Okay, this is working as you can see, but we have a couple of issues. This issue is interpretating and these guys are moving, so let's try and fix that. Really easy to do. We can do a group to get these guys, right, are not moving, just like when we did in, in Ziva, but we can do that a little bit better than we did with the muscles, so a little bit more procedural. One thing we can do is um, do it for from and share edges and create boundary groups, and you can see that it has created a lot of groups. So this group is every um, point that has another point that has shared edges and all those groups are the other ones. So now that we have all those groups, we can create another group node and choose those ones. So if I choose this one, you can see it's everything. But if I choose this one, it's just this guy. And then I can choose this one and so on and so forth. And we have all of them. That's nicer, and just imagine this guy will have like a tail or something. It will be having another hole right there. So each hole will be on our, let's call it border. And we can do a little bit more because if we have another, it will be called group one underscore underscore four. So we can just delete all of that and put here an asterisk. So everything that is called group underscore underscore, whatever number it is, it will be on that group. So our borders group is procedural. We can change this geometry. We can change this input and this will always select the unshared points. Great. So now that we have that, we can just go to our balloon and say that uh, the balloon cloth, oh, what is, yeah pin points, we can pin the borders. We don't have to match animation because there's no animation here, but these points will not move. So now I can do the same thing that we did. And you can see it's much better. You don't need to do a ramp like in Ziva. You don't need to do almost anything. It's working really nice. We have a problem here, which is um, this guy penetrating and that because at the beginning, the first frame, you can see some blue right there. So really, really easy to fix. There's another, it's called peak, which is really nice. And what it does, it moves the points on their normals. So you can see, you can do crazy stuff here. 
but the only thing that we need to do is put a really low number there when just to get a little bit outside of the collision geometry and that's pretty much it great but we don't have that much resolution right now for uh, for fascia so we will do a remesh maybe better to do it as everything is procedural i don't care about where i put it but i think it's better to put it just right here and we will do a remesh node and the remesh node can do uh, a remesh with triangles which will work really really well so we went from uh, 8000 points to let's say 17 this is not that much maybe we can do a little bit more let's try to do something like that this is much better even more much much better you can see we have these strange um, things it's because this guy has this um, what uh, I really don't care about that because we're deforming it in the simulation. But if you want, you can always put some subdivide node just in between and that get rid of that because we're just remeshing the subdivide one. But we don't really need that because we will be seeing wherever it happens in the simulation. Obviously, the simulation will be much, much slower because we have lots of points, but it's pretty fast. Okay. So what we did right now is not only the length scale to make it shrink, but also some inner pressure. So we can create a pressure node. Balloon pressure node. Oh, it's, been, it's been a while for me. Sorry, I shouldn't. But let's build a balloon. There's a comfortable balloon and it comes with a pressure node. <laughs> so I can just grab it and put it there. Great. So now that we have that, we can see that the pressure is going the other way around no worries about that we can get the pressure and do the same thing with the rest let's scale something like that and now we will see that we have we're starting to have something like a fascia that looks really 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 nice okay there are some issues here and there obviously i think that's too much but We have a lot of geometry in there, but we can um, maybe that's that's a little bit too much. Oh, I don't care. Let's just keep it that way. Yeah. So it's not perfect at all, and you can also see that we have too much resolution, and we start to see the geometry underneath and the the quads underneath. So. I think that's, yeah, that's too much resolution. Let's do it something like that. And let's try to solve this one. So that's one a little bit better, but as you can see, you can go as up as you want in the resolution and it's it's still fairly fast. There are some issues here and there, but you can, as you know, you can just grab that guy and go to zebras or whatever and, and just try to get that fine detail i'm just trying to show you techniques to do muscle and stuff so don't worry that much so let's um let's save this guy as our fascia let's use a file cache for that file cache um, comes with another thing already done for you like the name and this construct name which is going to be in my folder and files and geo it'll it will create this, this um this folder and all of that but if you want to see exactly what you're writing just hit explicit and you will see here the expression which is dollar hip which is the, the folder where my my hip file fascia construct is uh, it will do a geo and folder then my hip name which will be fascia construct dot dollar os dollar os means this guy right here dollar frame is the frame and bgo is the format who then saves the caches sc is the bgo compressed so if i middle click here i can see what the expression will do because so as i said the, the, the folder files geo fascia construct which is my scene 
file cache one, which is this guy. If I change this guy and say fascia v1, this will change to fascia one and the frame and bg and the scene. So I don't want the mm, time dependent cache. I don't need the dollar frame because we will do just one frame, the frame that we are at. And maybe we can just save it like that. So let's just hit, hit save to disk. And now I can disconnect this guy and this guy is already my fascia. Great. We have constructed our fascia in 10 minutes. That's not bad at all. And let's see what happens here because I have a lot of things right there. I have a lot of um, of Bellum attributes and so the groups and detail attributes. I have a lot of stuff. So I don't want all of that. I just want a geometry. So what we can do is not load it from disk. But create an attribute delete and delete everything. All delete it. I don't have any attributes. I have a lot of uh, groups. I can do a group delete. Same thing, and I can do that. So I'm deleting all the groups. So this is really, really clean. But I want to keep the border groups because no, we already have it. So we can say, OK, uh, delete everything. But using this symbol right there, border, border groups. So right now, I still have my border group. and nothing else. So the file cache will be much, much, much smaller in size. So that's really, really great. And I can just do something like that, or maybe just keep that as a construct. And then I can just get this guy, control C of this guy, and just do a file, read node, and read this guy. So I have this guy with the borders and everything and nothing else. Great. Okay. So we can do the same thing. And in fact, we will be just doing exactly the same thing. So we get these three nodes, put it right there, put that. And maybe we can sometimes. I do a couple of passes of the same. You will see what I mean. Because now that we have a fascia that's already in place, we can do exactly the same thing and it will try to get to a better position. By now, that's not happening. It's going really, really crazy. But what we can do maybe is just put a little bit more, more sub steps to get better collisions. This is going to be much, much, much slower. But maybe it will give us something better. No, not that much. OK, as you can see, with more. Maybe we can do that on the first one. Let's just hit escape and let's redo this guy. Okay, escape, escape. Let's redo this guy with four sub steps. Let's see what happens. Because sometimes you can just create in the, the fascia. It's much, much, much easier to, and it get you get a better result with a little bit more sub steps. I'm not sure if that's the case now. Let's just wait for it. Okay. Let's compare these two. Yeah, I think it's much, much cleaner. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Yeah, that's great. So let's save this guy. And now this guy will load. And that's much cleaner. OK, so now we can try. And instead of getting the static collider, we will get the moving collider. And we will get that just right there. And what we will do is get read for now on the bellum pressure. And we will 
use an attached to geometry because if we don't have the attached to geometry all the borders will not follow as it should so let's attach to our muscles and bones but just the border group so right now this will be attached and we can try uh, some frames right there and there's something really wrong right there i really don't understand why but not to worry so we have this guy we have that guy oh Okay, it's not working that well, right? Yeah. Why is that? I don't understand why it's not doing what I want it to do. Okay, no worries. I have my border. Yeah, that's sure. Yeah. Okay, because I was leading to animation. I guess that's the reason why it's behaving like that. But now it's okay. Now oh, this is working. Great. So, as you can see, we already have something nice. Obviously, we will need to fix a lot of things here, but this is working pretty nice. And, and amazing, amazingly fast. Really, 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 really fast. So we will try to do one thing here. Is I don't like that happening at the beginning. So maybe we will try a couple of sub steps there. See what happens at the beginning. Yeah. That's not working at all, and I think it's not because of the subtype, but because of the vellum cloth that shouldn't have the resonance scale because we have a nice. Yeah, that's the thing. It was trying to do something that it's too much for resonance scale because it's trying to make the edges thinner and thinner. We still have problems on the armpits, as always, as you know, is the more difficult part any simulation but uh, overall we have an amazing amazingly fast and really really good thing we'll see some ways of fixing that up in fact i think we can go a little bit higher with this guy i guess that, that will help a little bit yeah it's not doing that much great okay so now we will do a cache and this time we will not using um we will not be using a fascia a video we will using an alembic so, so that's how we create uh, an alembic in houdini wrap alembic output we just get this guy again we will get those two nodes right here just to delete everything so now i don't have oh i don't have that match things and all those attributes from from the solver from from the vellum solver and then we will do yeah 300 frame rates okay and you can change that obviously but well, we will put like fascia scene b1 point a c and just let's try to do the simulation So I will stop right here and then we will continue with the next step uh, once it's finished. But I will tell you that doing 300 frames of a fascia, uh, it will be like, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes. So you can see how, how much faster it is from Ziva. Okay, let's see in the next one.